At 3.53 p.m. local time on March 2nd, 2024, magma broke through an underground barrier and began rapidly running to the east. Within minutes, it had reached a 15-kilometer long dike in place during November of 2023 and is now slowly spreading out to both the northeast and the southwest. A volcanic eruption is now likely imminent and could begin with little or no warning. While it is not a certainty that a new eruption will occur, the last three times this exact scenario occurred, all three occasions ended in a brand new volcanic eruption. As a result, everyone is being quickly evacuated from both Greenavik and the Blue Lagoon, likely involving the movement of more than 1,000 people. Authorities do not want the potential of people being cut off from evacuating on the same road which was partially covered by lava flows on February 8th. Any volcanic eruption, if one does occur, is almost certain to last no more than 50 hours in length, be strongest during its initial hour, and then quickly wane in intensity. As I am writing this, it has now been one hour since the magma run began, and yet no eruption has commenced. This is not a good sign. The longer the magma run and strong earthquake swarm continues for, the further to the southwest magma is traveling. In other words, as the duration of this underground magma movement continues, an eruption becomes increasingly unlikely just outside of, or even within, Greenavik proper. While the December 2023 and February 2024 eruptions of the Reckonis volcano occurred after magma runs of approximately 90 and 30 minutes respectively, the January 2024 eruption on the outskirts of Greenavik occurred after a magma run of 308 minutes. We should now hope that any eruption which does occur begins soon, as the further southwest the magma travels, the more destructive an eruption will be. Although any eruption which does occur is most likely to be completely effusive, if magma happens to erupt into the ocean, which although unlikely is technically possible, such a scenario would create a highly explosive eruption. Expect me to upload a longer form video later today if and when the Reckonis volcano commences a new eruption.